dormers are part of the American landscape. You know, whether it's built in 1929 or 2018, dormers are just an accepted part of architecture. And when you look at a measuring a dormer, they really should not be that complicated. You've got a width measurement and a length measurement. The difference is when you're measuring the length on a dormer, you do not add for the width of the exterior wall. We're going to look at slides that are going to show you that a little closer later, but when you take this measurement, you see where the red dot stopped, that's where the measurement stops. You've already added for that width of the exterior wall when you started your measurement. So where the door is, you know, that's an interior wall. So when you took that measurement, you have already added for the width of that wall. So if you added for more width here, basically you would be double dipping and giving an extra half a foot to that measurement. Now, when you do the width, the measurement is simple. It's just like any other upper level interior measurement. You're going to add five tenths or six inches for both exterior walls and you can see you know the styles vary but they're all basically the same components the width is measured like all other second level measurements and the length does not get measured the same way just remember in the length measurement you stop the tape where it hits the outside wall you know they're not that complicated if you really look at this picture and kind of see you know where to stop it's something that people make harder than it should be it's a simple measurement and it's one you'll need to master